world is full of insecure men who want to knock women down a peg and ruin their life. Like this billionaire right here. Okay, this guy, I'm going to explain who he is in a second if you don't already know. He is the perfect example of all the things that I warn y'all about, um, all in one, all in one. And he's a billionaire. So he's also like dangerous to the whole world. A lot unaliving people at an alarming rate just being a billionaire. I do not believe in ethical billionaires. But just this guy is maybe the worst example I've seen. Okay, and I'm going to tie all of this God complex crap that he's got into how it directly impacts the women in his life. So I read this a few weeks ago, and then I could not stop reading stuff about how terrible this man is. So this guy is a billionaire. He used to own Venmo or whatever. And he has decided that he is so special, he should not have to die. And I mean, I don't use the word narcissist lightly, okay? My dad was diagnosed with narcissism back in the day before anybody was really talking about it. Um, they are a special type. Lots of men are unbelievably entitled and selfish and only think of themselves. But this is like next level. And I, th like, th okay, just wait. His one goal in life is to not die. Because why should he have to die? It's not fair. <laughs> and even like, I hate it when men write, articles about men because even like there's still like a woman would write this very different the tech entrepreneur uh okay uh, entrepreneur i'm sorry but any of these self-made men come from money but look he's waging a one-man war against aging now he claims that his goal is to include as many people as possible in this plan but i'm calling bs because if everyone lived forever and ever how is that possible in this climate crisis we're in? How is that possible? You know that's not possible. You just don't want to sound like a complete sociopath. Yeah, a lot, and your altruistic motives is so everybody can live, but really it's just people as rich as you, which is like nobody. And I love how they go into this thing about how, you know, he's getting trolled online. People saying that he looks older than 45. Welcome to being a woman. Like if this is the worst stuff he's getting online is people making fun of him for doing something ridiculous. Fork off. I get, I get trolled online for saying I don't want to die at the hands of men. So blah. So anyway, for something that's accessible to everybody eventually, it's only two million a year for now. <laughs> Look at this douche. Look at this photo of him. Blah. And now we start getting into the real problem because all of these insecure men, not only do they have entitlement and unhealed trauma and all kinds of things, patriarchy, they also won't deal with their stuff. Like, look, it's like, well, you know, I think I want to live forever because I was really self-destructive for a while. I had so much money from selling um, Venmo that for following a decade of overeating, drinking too much and uh, dealing with depression, instead of doing something reasonable, you know, recovery and, you know, and living your life, enjoying your life, he's like, I know, instead of self-destructing, I'll do the opposite of dream and make my life miserable so I can live a miserable life forever. And look at this, he lives in a minimalist home in LA. I love that for you. I love that you're, I love minimalism, not when billionaires are doing it, fork off, because uh, I would love to see what minimalism looks like for him. Mm -hmm. So what does a minimalist do? Um, he consumes an insane amount of pills <laughs> on a daily basis. He's got a whole team of doctors, and it just reminds me of like Trump and just any man with too much power and money and um, unhealed trauma and also like just super insecure. They have a whole team of yes men who are like, yes, you should totally live forever. So what did they do? They read, you know, something like 2,000 publications. Like, okay, they uh, as if this is a legit thing. Like, this is the dumbest thing ever. And they're like, as long as this bro pays me to like, let him believe that this thing is real, I'll go along with it. I would love to hear the conversations between the people who work for him when he's not marooned. But listen to his lifestyle. And now after I tell you about what his lifestyle looks like, then I'm gonna show you where women come into this because it's just bonkers, y'all. So one reason why he's having a hard time convincing anyone to do this dumb thing is because it is a miserable life. I wanna live forever miserably. Who wants this? This is such a, like, a US American thing, particularly a white person thing in the US. Work, 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 work. Feel dead inside. Have no connection to anyone. Individualism, ah. But we are so extreme in the US. God, like, just look at it. Two of the three meals he eats a day are super greens, broccoli, cauliflower, and there's something called nutty pudding. He takes 54 pills in the morning. <laughs> and then the rest of them in between 
skin treatments, red light therapy, and other crap. He routinely lives in a calorie restricted state, doesn't drink alcohol. That's probably good for him, but whatever. And doesn't go out in the evening ever. He also experimented with plasma and stuff. Like seriously, do you, does anybody want to be this person and go through this every day? Even if you had the money, this just sounds like someone who really hates themselves and um, has too much money, which I would argue is most billionaires. You're not fooling me. Just because you are a little too cocky doesn't mean you don't hate yourself. Anyway, and he's like, you know what I realized is like, all this could be for nothing if I got hit by a bus. <laughs> yup. And also, it's hard to date. This man is looking for a wife or girlfriend or anyone who will put up with his crap. Actually, he's not looking for a wife. I'm going to get to that later. He's looking for a girlfriend. Uh, so he can keep all of his money and extract everything for her, from her, and uh, never have to put a ring on it. Anyway, look at this. This is like kingiest of king babies. Terrifying man. Look at this. What I share on first dates. I can't believe he's going on first dates. 11 a.m. is dinner. 8.30 p.m. asleep. No pillow talk. You sleep alone. Actually, that's probably best for her because you are too stressful. No small talk. Really don't care. Do you hear that? This man is saying out loud what so many men think. Just date me and deal with me and shut up so I can you and get you to do stuff for me, but I don't want to hear it. Just shut up, women. Look at this. No sunny vacations. Scheduled schmeg. Now, sometimes in marriages, that's important. If people are, are busy to schedule dates and, 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 and schmegsy time without the expectation of it having to happen. But uh, that's not what this dude's this dude is insane. It's probably like, okay, at 6.15 and then my three pumps and we're done. Now get out of my bed. <sighs> Veggie daddy, whatever that means. Don't care. Must give plasma. <laughs> and most importantly, you're not my number one priority. And don't you forget it. Now I'm going to show you an example of a woman who he did this to in a second. Now he's like, I'm not sure why I'm saying he's making fun of himself, but he's really not because he keeps dating. He honestly expects a woman to be okay, any woman to be okay with this. And if you think that you should date him to get money from him, he's not giving you any money. Now, critics have been like, this makes no sense because a lot of the people who live the longest are the ones who are highly social people. And then he's like, well, I'm social. I have fights on Twitter. <laughs> and then he says this. You know, but really the, the trolls don't bother me because they could never be as, as mean to me as my own brain. Join the club, bro. Join the club. Nobody is as mean as we are to ourselves. Try being a woman under patriarchy. Now, they include this photo <laughs> in the article. And I, Pippi Tech Bro stalking here is going to unalive you if you date him. Because look at it. Before I get to that, um, this is his family portrait. And the stuff he does with his son is also insane. The dude is swapping blood with his poor child. So looky here, shock. He left his fiance after her breast cancer diagnosis, forced her out of the home that they shared while she was getting treatment. He left her after she was diagnosed with cancer because only women are hospice wives, remember? If, she, if he got cancer, she'd be expected to stay and take care of her because she got six, sick. He is six times more likely to leave her and that's exactly what he did, but they weren't married. So she gets nothing. Don't move in with these dudes, y'all. Give them nothing without security. He did it all. Within weeks of meeting, he took her on lavish vacations, planned a forever future faking, right? Dubbing her Ms. Johnson. Had her move in pretty quickly. Got engaged. Never married her though. And promised to take care of her financially and medically for the rest of her life. And look at this. He did what they all do. Whether they're narcissists or just men. Repeatedly telling her she was an actress and a content creator or whatever. Stop worrying about money. And he promised her that he'd take care of her. And all she had to do was devote her time and creative energy to his personal needs and his professional aspirations. Shocker. And thus leaving her financially dependent. I'm going to tag some mutuals who talk about this all the time. Don't do this with stage three breast cancer. Now she has no independent source of steady income because she gave up everything to devote her time to branding his business, speech writing, film production, everything for him. Okay, now the most important point here. Y'all know that I talk about how dangerous these men are. Even if they're not physically abusive, they will unalive you through your nervous system. They are so stressful, they will sometimes actually give you cancer. Now, did he give her cancer? I don't know. But every time I make one of these videos about the stress of dealing with men, my comments are full of women with chronic diseases because of men. She's suing him now. And shocker, he doesn't know her a dime. These men will ruin your life or take it. Be careful.